Hi, my name is Cordell Radke and welcome to CSR Digital Media. Today I'm going to be discussing how to transfer ownership of your domain name over to Squarespace or how to register a domain with Squarespace. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I've been getting a lot of questions from my clients about how they can do this themselves and I want to make a quick and easy tutorial so I can show my clients how to easily register their domain over with Squarespace. Now typically I would actually recommend registering your domain with Namescheap here. So with Namescheap you get a lot of cheaper options. Um, I've done a lot of research and I've found that Namescheap is probably uh, right now the, the cheapest platform to register a domain name. So. I'm going to make a separate tutorial video um, completely covering Namecheap by itself. But um, for the purpose of testing and to answer a lot of questions from my clients, I'm just going to be using Squarespace today and I won't be going over Namecheap. So the first thing you're going to get is an email. Uh, I'll typically send this out for my clients after I've finished designing their website, creating their website. And the first thing they're going to want to do is accept the invitation in the email that I sent to them. It's going to give them all the permissions and privileges to the website so they can edit, um, put in their um, card information for paying for subscriptions um, with the hosting platform. So obviously I've already done this, so that's why it says invalid invitation code. But what it's typically going to do is it's going to bring you to a sign up page and you're going to put in your email and you're going to sign up with Squarespace and then it will bring you here to uh, the dashboard of your created website. So you're going to want to go into settings and then you're going to see domains down here. You're going to click on domains and obviously I've already connected my own domain here for my um, portfolio website but you're either going to get a domain with a Squarespace. In this case you would be um, creating, finding a new domain for you to use for the website. So for example, if you click on get a domain, then you're going to search for a domain name that is available and then you're going to choose it and you're going to register with Squarespace. But for the, uh, for example purposes, you're going to want to use a domain that you already own. Uh, and I'm assuming that most people already have a domain that they want to be um, have transferred over to Squarespace. So for example purposes, I'm going to put CSR digital media dot online. This is actually a domain name I do own with Namecheap. And it's going to give you two options here. It's going to, uh, you're going to want to transfer domain, which is obviously recommended with Squarespace. That means you're actually going to transfer your domain name uh, with Squarespace so that now whenever you want to manage the DNS settings uh, of your domain name you're going to do it with Squarespace from now on. Uh, so if you want to keep your domain name for example with Namecheap then you're going to want to connect to the, the domain. Uh, but for the purposes of this video I'm not going to go over the details on how to connect a domain name um, from from Namesheep, for example, I'm just going to have you transfer the domain uh, over to Squarespace so that you'll have all your domains on Squarespace for your websites. So you're going to do transfer domain and you're going to want to put in your authorization code from wherever you have your domain uh, hosted. So if, for example, if you look over here on my Namesheep platform, you can go into your domain list and settings and you'll see that there's a, a option to click for your authorization code to unlock your domain. So you're, you're usually going to want to unlock your domain first and then once you unlock it, it's going to give you an authorization code. And once you have that authorization code, you're going to want to come over here, put it in, and then you're going to register and you're going to put your payment and information in with Squarespace and and the Squarespace is going to review and it may take uh, a couple of hours or even a couple of days for the transfer to be successful. So right here, see it says domains can take up to 15 days to transfer. That's how long you could expect 
for a domain name to transfer. So like I said before, I'm going to make a completely other different video that's going to go over the ins and outs of using a platform like Names Cheap and being able to connect a domain with Names Cheap over to uh, Squarespace. So I'll definitely post that video later on. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.